Happening now, the power is back on now for most PG&E customers who experienced an outage in San Francisco following last night's power outage. But, you know, some people still without power. They may have to wait even a few more days. Ground Force Sarah Stinson talked with uh, people most affected. She joins us now live in San Francisco, somewhat in the dark there uh, to explain. Hi, Sarah. Yeah, good evening. That's right. Some people are being told that they won't have power for a couple more days until Saturday. That's well over 72 hours without power. So as you can imagine, this is causing major problems for families, business owners and commuters. Crews could be seen directing traffic downtown San Francisco Thursday afternoon as the stoplights remain out from a PG&E power outage that began Wednesday night. At around 845, reports came in about smoke pouring out of a manhole on Clay Street. The fire department responded within minutes and concluded it was coming from a PG&E vault. Board of Supervisors President Aaron Peskin says it took way too long for PG&E crews to arrive. Over 40 minutes before PG&E actually had their units on scene, by then the fire had spread to three vaults. Uh, and they came to the determination that it was too late to put it out. They let it burn itself out. It caused extensive damage, uh, power to over 9,000 customers. The majority got power back Thursday, but there are still customers who could be without power until Saturday, leaving several intersections without crosswalk countdowns. This makes it very dangerous for people who are visually impaired. A traffic guy had to escort me. Like, I'm really grateful for his help, but I usually do that on my own. It is very important, especially for someone who's visually impaired. That's independence for me. The power is also out at Masuma's house. She tells us the food in her fridge is now spoiled, so she had to go get groceries. If a fridge has food in it, it's defrosting. I can do nothing about it. Yeah, it's great. Rogan and Son Barbershop is without power as well, but the haircuts have not stopped. So we've been no. super busy. <laughs> We're just kind with the lights yeah. off. Supervisor Peskin says this long of an outage is unacceptable. Well, PG&E needs to keep their transformers in states of good repair, and they need to be able to respond more quickly. Uh, this has cost the city and my constituents a lot of anxiety and money. People without power are hoping it won't last until Saturday. Get back our power so that we can go back to our kitchens. Bring the power back. Yeah, can we get the power back on? <laughs> And uh, Peskin tells me that the power is still out at Pier 27, and that is where the cruise ships come in. And speaking of cruise ships, one ex one's expected to come in tomorrow morning, and so the city's really scrambling right now to get their emergency generators up and running so that they can, can accommodate that cruise ship. Of course, we'll keep you updated on this power outage as it develops. For now, I'm Sarah Stinson reporting live in San Francisco. Back to you.